Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And welcome back to our Winston Wild Moment. I can't believe we're in 2021 and God continues to give us wild moments. Yes. And so I remember when we left off, I was actually joking with my husband because we're still in a pandemic season and he's just sometimes I consider a little extra uh, from cautious. He's cautious, extra cautious with uh, sleeping with his mask on and, you know, cleaning abundantly every time spraying you know so i can say the wild moment is he has remained healthy during the pandemic season and so in that uh we have a, a rule in this household that no one can cough uh, over three times you mm -hmm. have to go and get uh, quarantined and and spray it down and i have to observe you mm -hmm. so well all of a sudden I thought somebody was in the house because it had to have been a man that was coughing that deep, that hard. Uh, we start checking. <laughs> I said, I know uh, it has to be a man in this house because it was just a deep, deep uh, manly cough uh, that was coming from my bedroom. And so uh, all of a sudden after putting on my mask and investigating, <laughs> your turn. So, of course, if you cough more than three times in the Winston household, uh, we need to go ahead and confirm that it's not the obvious, which in this season is COVID. And so I had to proceed to take a, a test and the test results confirmed that I was positive for COVID-19 during the holiday season. It just, 2020, it had one more hit. <laughs> He was like, before you leave 2020, I got something else for you. And so uh, the good news, I am uh, free from COVID. And as you all can see, I'm well, you know, to be expected. But it was still some wild moments because I don't know about you, but can you imagine going through COVID-19 with Pastor Winston, Michael T. Winston? So let's recap. Okay, let's let, <laughs> my let's, journey. Let's recap of COVID nineteen because I didn't get it, and because I had an action plan, nobody in the house got it. That is true. Except for you. Except for me. So that was the start of it. Because when when I was making sure I was watching Doctor Oz every day <laughs> to figure out what I needed to do, and Doctor Fauci, you <laughs> no, she knew more than Doctor Fauci. <laughs> Because she kept telling me uh, that she knew how you could get it and how you couldn't get it. So let's, you know, let's talk. I don't know everything. I'm definitely not Dr. Fauci. Oh, you don't know everything no more. Just starting now. Okay. That was the first thing I can say. I failed the action plan. So you get a gold star because you kept everybody safe. When she came back. The doors was locked. The doors was locked. Uh, I told her to FaceTime me. And that was it. Uh, and I didn't see my husband, my babies, for almost three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. So can you imagine that during the holiday season, you just away? But I can say, as he said in the past, why moments, he's an excellent nurse. Uh, he nursed me back to health. I had routines of vitamin regimens um, and made sure, of course, when I gained back an appetite. Now, uh, she didn't want to take anything initially. True. And it shifted from just COVID-19 to COVID-19 plus flu B, uh, influenza. So please. And see, he's telling all of my information. You know there are HEPA laws out there, right? So before he get out and tell you all I had flu influence, I'm supposed to tell that. You don't tell what uh, I had told yet. But anyway, I'll tell it. I had COVID-19, <laughs> flu P, influenza. And I, that's one of the things we got to know in the world. People's health, they have a right to privacy. So if they had given you the gold light to go and tell their health, then you don't tell they help. And, and, and speak of <laughs> privacy, uh, my wife was, uh, she was considering uh, how uh, she was going to inform everyone because she did 
uh, inform everyone that she was in contact with. But uh, I just thought uh, after, you know, consideration and, and just musing over that she didn't need to put out uh, a COVID video because she was still in the test. It hadn't developed to the testimony yet. <laughs> so I just said, you know, you know, you didn't want the world to see you like that. She was sick, sick. Yeah. That uh, cute wasn't even a thought. Uh, so I just decided, listen, just text everyone. You don't need to do a video because uh, you was looking rough. Yeah, it took me back to, I guess, the summer months. But hey, during that time, for those who are COVID survivors, those who are dealing with COVID, the last thing you're thinking about is being cute. True. You're just trying to survive. And um, I've heard other people say, and I can attest, sometimes just it takes a certain part of you away. And so you're just trying to... Everything make but your appetite. I had to tell my wife the kitchen closes at 10 o'clock. Now, it, 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 it took my appetite. Like the first week, you all, they weren't feeding me the first week a whole lot. Y'all done weren't feeding me. You had 24-hour room service, mm -hmm. and you took full advantage of it. That, that was the positive part. I am a mom, a wife, a first lady, a career woman, and that was the first time. A drill sergeant. <laughs> It was the first time in in 20 years that I had that much time and didn't have to take care of anybody else. And so, you know, that's one positive part of being down, which, you know, it, it, you have to search to find the positive. But that was one positive, you know. So you gave me, he had this, because you've been watching Dr. Oz. Yep. So every morning, every night, uh, my nurse Winston. Zinc yep. and vitamin uh, D3. Mm -hmm. He gave me that and my vitamin C and my elderberry. And echinacea. Echinacea. I didn't know what echinacea was, but he obviously had researched it and decided to give it to me. And um, my emergency in the morning and my Theraflu at night and nursed me back to health. So uh, what was your, I guess, symptoms and uh, when you were uh, sick? I know some of the symptoms was you had a high fever. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you had a deep cough. Uh, I know some of the symptoms uh, that you had, you were very fatigued. Mm -hmm. And then another uh, symptom was just the cuteness leaving. I saw <laughs> that that was another symptom. Yeah, that was a symptom, but it came back. <laughs> it's back like it never left <laughs> and I'm down 10 pounds <laughs> so we'll take it <laughs> do you agree I agree all right so thank you so I came out and we back thank God because you know, that's not everybody's story. So maybe another wild wow moment is just the fact that maybe uh, your husband and the mask and the spring, maybe it was worth it. It was. And I can say sometimes during this season, you get relaxed. And that's one of the things that you have to be mindful of with the numbers still improving. Um, increasing rather and just that we don't want to be desensitive and that's one of the things that when I was in the room for three weeks I'm like what happened what, how could this have happened because I tried to be you know safe. and then when you get it you force people like me who have to go get tested mm -hmm. and I didn't know that they had to <laughs> stick a stick this long <laughs> and get a piece of your brain out your nose to find, I'm like, if it's this contagious, I can't just cough, you just can't swallow my lip. But no, they stuck a stick up my nose. And that was your fault. Hey, but you survived. I wish I could have been there. I, oh. I, I wish I could have seen it. <laughs> I, sh I should have came back in a wheelchair. I was 
wish I could see it because you are already so sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, it's it's unpleasant, and yes, you know, there's just protocol. You talked about the action plan, but you know, definitely because I had tested positive, my family had to get tested, and then of course notifying um, appropriately. Those are the types of things that we do have to continue to do. And honestly, going back to what we were so focused on at the beginning of the season, constant hand washing, wearing our mask, um, really trying to stay distant, um, only congregate with those in your immediate household. Because matter of fact, this is the first time we've been talking together without a mask. True. Because I've been masked. Matter of fact, I've, I've told my wife, she thinks I'm playing. Uh, I'm not even going to kiss her till the 4th of July. And he, look, he just saying that he kissed me yesterday. Oh, but what did I kiss? How did I kiss He you? had a mask on though, y'all. <laughs> Tell the truth, I had a mask on. He kissed me yesterday with a mask on. I was, but that's, hey, I'm clear and clean, but he still in his mind has his own timeline of, you know, when we can, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but. Just case some residue somewhere. There's no residue. And see, this is what we disagree on because, you know, that story doesn't last that long. I got you, uh, Dr. Fauci Jr. <laughs> But I'm going to make it. Yeah, I believe it. Cause so uh, just, again, want to share this wild moment. Make something light out of what was definitely a couple of weeks of, you know, something that I didn't want to go through but did. And I know I'm not alone. There are so many people in our country who has been diagnosed with COVID. I remember just the other day there was this sharing of those who, passed in 2020 um, from COVID. So definitely want to acknowledge that this is serious and those are in 2021 are still being impacted. And so I am one that survived, but definitely want to make it where we can continue to get through this and control what we can control. So though he is definitely um, extra, imagine if everyone had that same level a focus and diligence across this great country, you know, and maybe different outcomes. So I have to give you recognition for taking care of me. Yes. Uh, for your diligence, because you did keep my family safe. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to listen a little bit more in this season. That's a wild moment. <laughs> and, and listen, let me share this uh, as well. Uh, I said in 2021, I wanted to just come clean. So I want to use this wild moment to come clean on some things and just open up and share. And so I'm glad with that. But uh, in 2021, here's what we're going to need for, for, for you. Just this one thing. So my wife, prior to this, she, she comes and I see she's sitting back. She don't know what <laughs> I'm going to say. And, and maybe I can help you and help somebody else out there. So I noticed I was waiting on my wife to come and, and I was like, who is this? I know her family, so I didn't know who this young lady that, that walked in. And until she said something, I realized it was my wife. And so what had happened, my wife had went and got these, these lashes. And you know, what is it, Snuffleupagus from Sesame Street? She came in looking like Snuffleupagus <laughs> my lashes from, from Sesame. Lashes were so long where she was blinking and one eye would go down and then it would come up and then the other, that's how heavy her, her lashes were. And so I said, sweetheart, please, don't you ever come in here looking like Snuffleupagus again. And so I just wanted to share, that was another wild moment that I've been waiting to share. You didn't need them. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what you were thinking about? First of all, <sighs> They were not that long. <laughs> they look like hands coming out your from eye. your vantage. Okay. But from my vantage, I was cute. I had my lashes, and they are great in the photos. And so, I wanted, so it was for the photos. It was for the photos. I wanted to wear my lashes, and, um, you know, I, I enjoyed it. So, okay. we, you know, that wasn't how I got COVID, though. I thought you got it for them lashes. <laughs> Not from the lashes. Thought them lashes grabbed something. <laughs> no. 
Mm-mm, you can't grab me. Because it was right after them lashes, you start cough. I said, I saw she got it, them lashes. <laughs> then grab something. Not the lashes. The lashes, that's how she got COVID okay. from them lashes. Because right after you got them lashes, that's when you went down. So I just want to just add that into that, that perhaps it was the lashes. I don't think there's any development that you get COVID from lashes. This is the first. This is the first I'm hearing that you can get COVID from lashes. Yeah. So, hey, we'll agree to disagree. Uh, somehow, some way, some form, some fashion, whether it was improper hand washing or something that I failed to drop the so, ball. Social distancing. Social distancing. There's something that happened that I was exposed to someone that got me exposed. And uh, at the end of the day, we bless God for the healing. Yes. And we continue to pray for those who are suffering with COVID, who yes. lost someone to COVID, and um, that we can continue to protect one another in this pandemic season. And let me end with this. Okay. When you wasn't feeling well, mm -hmm. remember you kept saying, sweetie, I need a hug. Sweetie, I don't feel good. Mm -hmm. Can you hold me? Mm -hmm. And sweetie said what? You need to get a test. <laughs> Cope, he would not hug me, but it kept him safe. But sweetie and mindful of, do you have COVID-19? So for all the sweeties out there, I can't say this sweetie stayed uh, COVID-free because he practiced even social distancing when I wasn't feeling well. So social distancing works, uh, wearing a mask works. And um, I just am thankful that we are here um, and can laugh and live and tell about it. And thank God she is uh, much better. Uh, and we do pray for all of those who uh, perhaps uh, have been dealing with the sickness, have dealt with the sickness, and uh, just thankful that you, you're back up. Me too. So thank you for joining our first wild moment of 2021. It is a wild moment. The COVID addiction, COVID addiction. but fortunately, because we can live and smile and tell about and, and, it. And make sure those lashes are a certain length because <laughs> it has not been yet proven whether or not COVID is caused by lashes. <laughs> that is from someone who is not representing the medical field. And, 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 and if, you're, if you blink in one at a time, then perhaps your lashes are too long. <laughs> and they can snatch COVID. They snatch COVID. <laughs> so before we close out this wild moment, and I know I've given accolades to my husband because he is amazing. He did nurse me back to health. But there's one thing we have to discuss before we end. This payback for that lashes come in. So, my husband is an amazing man. Let me put that out there as a disclaimer. And... He's always doing things to help our little one keep her mind going. She loves puzzles. And so notice he got several puzzles. You know, he was very sensitive to give her puzzles that uh, remind her of her mom. And then I just happened to look at the puzzle. So love, what, what do you notice about the puzzle? Uh, it's a young lady that I thought looks like Seven's mom. So uh, I got it. About about your height, your your, uh, about your tone and, and your hairstyle. So I figured I'd be great for seven. Okay. And those were some great leading points. But for those who know Courtney B. Winston, if you zero in, it has 1913. It has a beautiful young lady. She has on a red shirt, some red shoes. And um, she has a different sign up. I said, now how did that puzzle get in my house? And he was like, I got the puzzle for seven. So we are actually approaching Founders Day of the first black Greek organization, Alpha Kappa Alpha Tour Incorporated, in which Seven's mom is a part of. And so, <laughs> I do support all of the beautiful ladies that are in the Divine Nine and uh, gentlemen, Divine Nine. But, um, husband, what did we learn from this? My, 
We learn my wife is crazy. <laughs> we learn, no, you learn how rough Pastor Winston has it. Uh, that's what we learn. Uh, do you know she confiscated the puzzle? Yes. Said that uh, that Seven could not open the puzzle. Mm -mm. She was going to get rid of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. She was going to find someone who was a Delta, uh, put it in their mailbox, not even call them, uh, just put it in their mailbox and drive off. Uh, and she said that uh, this would not be open in her house. You see the plastic is still on it. It has not been open. <laughs> We would not start with 1913, we would start with 1908. And um, I will use it as an educational teaching moment because it's part of history and I want her to start first in order uh, with the first and the first. Please, and everybody finest. listening. Please, everybody, the pray first, for me. The first pray and for me. is 1908. Pray for me. And when you pray for me, <laughs> close your eyes. <laughs> Don't pray for me with your eyes open. Close your eyes when you pray for me. And so that same day, uh, I went and proceeded to order the correct puzzle that we must start with. The puzzle is on the way. And so... A puzzle. A puzzle. We talking about puzzles. And hey, she's going to play with it. And we're going to have a dialogue around the history that goes along with that. And that is fine. And I actually went on because I, I was like... He doesn't quite understand. She went <laughs> off on me for a puzzle that has 42 pieces. She <laughs> went off on me. I didn't go off on him. But to be fair, I just was like, look, look at the puzzle. What, what do you notice about this puzzle? You know, let's pay attention to the details. And of course, I have some amazing girlfriends and those that are watched that are part of this amazing uh, organization. But, you know, just to be fair, we're going to start with the one mama is part of And not just mama, grandmother. You got grandmother a part of the organization 1908. Then you have aunties a part of 1908. Uh, grandma, <laughs> she taking your baby puzzles. <laughs> We're going to take this puzzle, and I do have, hey, if you are actually one that are watching this broadcast and you have a niece uh, that you would love to pass this puzzle on to, a, a little girl that you would like to pass this puzzle on to, it has not been opened. Um, it's definitely beautiful, and it does have 42 pieces. I actually went on. I'm a part of some chats, and... Um, you know, got feedback around what they would do. You know, my sisters, if their husband brought a puzzle in <laughs> in 1913. But by majority, you got favorable feedback. They gave you an A for effort because how many husbands do you know that are actually buying puzzles? And then two, you know, they knew, obviously, maybe not having that awareness around Greek organizations. So you got a pass for that. And ultimately to love you because you are definitely a honeydew. Once again, it was your height, <laughs> it was your color, it was your hairstyle, and I thought this would be awesome. Even your smile and your eyes. Look. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Look, so repeat after me. Are you ready? 1908. You are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> not, not if you get anything else for seven in the future if you see 1913 we don't start there we start at 1908 wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right then <laughs> thank you thank all you. enjoy the rest of your day covid edition wow moment wow <laughs>